Guys, this is uh, the Mamba with Total Justice Gaming, and I'm bringing you a deck profile look for my new Assassination Only deck. Um, we here at Total Justice Gaming try to provide you with uh, up to six days a week videos, five at the most, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into this. So we start off with, of course, for the buddy, which are Oni Boss Kid Ibuki. Um. So, and honest, uh, when the deck first was revealed, I was in love with this p artwork for this uh, the Oni Boss. So this is why I made him my buddy. His effect is uh, pay two call costs. Pay two gauge. When he enters the field, I can destroy a monster on my opponent's field. Then, if the card entered by the ambush ability, uh, it deals damage to your, the opponent equal to the size uh, destroyed, and he has double attack. So ambush, if, for those of you who don't know, is when a card is removed from a car when a, of a soul of an Oni assassin and it's face down. You ambush lets them be called to the field by paying this call cost. So for the buddy, uh, he's up here. Uh, next we have three fiend of a hundred flogs Rashomon. Uh, his call cost is look at the top three cards of the deck and add one to his soul, and then you pay a gauge. He has movement soul guard. So this lets you set up ambush uh, on your turn um, or your opponent's turn, depending on. Uh, the top three cards that you see so if you have a, a card that ambush and it could be used the next turn then you're just gonna move that soul so you can have it for the next play uh, next we have three uh, fiend of gaze io uh, his is when he enters the field i can choose the only assassin check top three cards put one of the cards onto that shows the target's soul put the rest at the bottom in any order and he has ambush so if he's under his ambush triggers on your opponent's turn, then you can it just sets up a greater play uh, for that turn that you can abuse with some of the cards we'll get to in a minute. Next we have two red lady Oni Kureha. Her call cost is pay one gauge. When she enters the field, I can add a card with ambush that's in the drop zone that's not her to my hand. Then uh, if she entered by ambush, I can put it into a card so uh, face down or any card that has any card from my hand that has uh, the ambush ability. Again, this just lets us set up plays uh, late game uh, and just uh, set up for any scenario that we come across. Now this is one of my favorite cards of the deck right now. This is a Lesser Fiend Yama Oni. The reason is because counter speed um, put a soul from a card on my field into the drop zone. So say it's your opponent's turn and they're attacking and you have the buddy uh, Ibuki in the soul of something and you can trigger his ambush to destroy whatever they're about to attack you with and then you deal damage equal to their, uh, the size. Um, this card can just trigger all kinds of other cards which we'll get to uh, in a minute but this card right now is one of my favorites. I'm also kind of thinking about making him the buddy just because of how good and versatile he is but for right now we're going to keep uh, Kid Ibuki for right now just because like I said his art, SPR work is what really got me into this deck. And Mr. Joe Tonello for telling me like all the cool things you could do with this. So we this is a tech one, but this would be a side deck card if I was ever to play this in like a big event, which is named, it's called Half Fiend Kid Yazi. So when it enters by ambush, you can you destroy, you can pay against and destroy an item on your opponent's field. And with the new spikes for Prism Dragons, we played against uh, Josiah who's just built the deck and he uh we found out this card is clutch because it can destroy his spikes the good one because it can't it's not one of those ones that says it can't be destroyed by effects so this card just helps you get rid of pesky items that you can destroy now since we're going into like a new era and buddy fight right now going away kind of from dragon force and um any of those other cards this card is a good matchup against hero world that can, when you're transformed this card is just a clutch card for right now and it would be a more side deck card but we tech one main deck right now just because we're just, this is the version one of our deck right now so next we have three of lesser fiend ama no jaku uh when this card enters by the ambush ability we draw a card just hand advantage he's a two one one size zero um he can go up to a three a three one one with the our item that we play but just getting hand advantage and being able to trigger it on your opponent's turn is really good. Uh, next we play two White Fiend Kid Toraguma. Uh, his call cost is just put a card from your hand face down his soul and he has move and he's a 5-1-1. And a 6-1-1 with our weapon. He This card just is lets you set up ambush, um, just basically calling him. His call is just to put a card face down which you can abuse with uh, the kid that we were talking about just a few minutes ago. 
Um, right now, I like this at a two of. I don't know how he'll look like in the future. We're just going to see what we get, the results we get for now. And this is the item that I was talking about. It is called Dark Arm Sword Blade. This card gets all your own assassins, uh, plus 1,000. And then when a monster enters by the ambush ability, you can choose a monster on your opponent's turn and pay one gate to destroy it. And it works on you, your and your opponent's turn. So this card, uh, with our ambush abilities, lets us just set up for removal for cards that we need to go on. Um, bots. Um, can destroy none of your the prism dragons, I believe. So like this wasn't work good on them, but it uh, most decks this card just interrupts their uh, plays. Um, this will be it for this card. Uh, and then we play two dark skill eerie wailings. It is the impact for the deck. Pay two. You can choose to choose an oni on your field and put up the two cards from your deck face down, or counter put all souls from every card on the board. Uh, into the drama. So with this being counter speed, you can trigger this during your battle phase because it is counter speed and it, it allows you to do more attacks depending on what you have in the soul. So you or you could be going against Jaeger, the new Jaeger. I don't think it keeps the soul in, or you can do it on the Prism Dragons it's, and just get rid of their whole soul. This card is interesting because we're back into the normal impact era right now for mostly for the new decks that you see that that you'll see on our channel uh later this throughout this week that they play the, these new impacts so impact monsters are not really important right now there's some decks that will still play them because they're so good like the ball um and some of the other katana world stuff but this right here with the impact being counter speed is a great card it just helps us set up so many beautiful plays which hopefully you'll see uh later on this week as well we play two Art of uh, Explosives Haiti Fall for two good reasons. Because, well, to cast it, you pay a gauge and you choose a card from your deck and put it face down into the soul. So, right there, that already triggers our ambush ability already. So, then, and also with the, being able to destroy a monster and deal two damage if it comes in the same size, this just gives you a monster or a spell that, that has a ability and you uh, destroy opponent monster and deal two damage. This card just sets up. Uh, so many good plays. It's removal plus giving us a new board. We play two of the promo a Apex of Ambush. Uh, normally, it's counter speed, destroy size one or less on your opponent's field. But when this card is face down, is when this face down card is put from the soul of an Oni Assassin into the drop zone, you destroy size two or less. So again, this goes back to our little kid here that can just remove soul, so he can just trigger all these effects by himself, which making this card super strong. Uh, with um, triggering this during their battle phase and stuff, and just messing up their rotation. We're gonna keep this guy actually out because he does. He's mainly what we're gonna talk about throughout this video. The next card is House of Assassins Oni Convoy. We play this at a four of because this card is a set. Put a card from your hand face down to the Oni Assassin's Soul, and then you draw a card. Just setting up a uh, ambush, drawing cards. And this card is just really good. Uh, I would never play this at less than a four of for right now because until there's a better card than this, but this card right now is, one my, is really good. Uh, we'll play three of the dual world banquet of the unrighteousness. Uh, you get to choose two, one or two effects. You can look at three cards on the top of the deck and put one monster from among them into your hand, and you put the rest in the drop zone, or you can put a card from your drop zone face down into a solar monster. So it helps you dig through your deck and get um, cards that you need to. Um, ready uh, to get to help if you're in a tough situation, but it also lets you fuel your effect from the drop zone by like putting the chosen cards you want face down so we can use this kid to trigger the effect, their ambush effect. Uh, we take one Demon Way of Burrow Gimbu if you don't have a monster in the center, nullify the attack. Uh, then the other one we use is going to be uh, four Midnight Bodyguards. Uh, this card says you can, uh, if you only cast it, if you have an only assassin on the board, you nullify the attack, and you can put a, uh, so you nullify it regardless, but the counter, then after that is, you may put a soul from a card on your field into the drop zone, and if you do, you gain a gauge and gain a life. So, this card uh, helps trigger, the same way the kid does, trigger our ambushes on our opponent's turn, uh, so we can call out our big boss, Ibuki, or... Uh, any of the other ones that do things to help us out of a situation. This is basically, uh, this is what something Joe told me the other day. It's basically just like you activated my trap card. It's basically just like you respond to everything and just build a board on your opponent's turn while you're limiting their, uh, what they can do. Next is uh, three of the underhand mean sneak attack. 
uh, just take a soul out of a card on your field to cast it, and you destroy a card, any card you want on your opponent's field. The card is basically free. You're actually, better yet, you're plus in at least two, depending on what you remove from the soul, depending on what that card does. You're basically uh, plus in two off this one card. This card, this deck basically just gives you answers to everything. And then we play three Optics Operations Shrouded Straw Coat. This card, just, uh, you have one or two abilities of counter speed. Uh, re next time you build damage, reduce it by two, or you can put a soul from a card on your field. Into the drop zone if you do put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Again, this card just helps you set up ambush on your on opponent's turn. Because the way I built my deck, it's just basically you want to ambush on your opponent's turn as much as possible and limit their ability to play the game on their turn. Just messing up their attack order and whatnot. And then we play th uh, three under the tables. This card just lets you gain two gauge, and you gain life. But if it's when it's, this card f is face down, and put from the soul of an assassin on your field to drop zone, you get three gauge. I mean, this is my gauge engine for the deck. Three, it's been working fine for me right now. I may cut one for one more unrighteous banquet, banquet for the unrighteousness. But for right now, this at three of has been working great for me. And then this is my favorite card, one of my favorite cards in the whole entire deck, and it is four hide and oni. So this card says you get to put a soul from a card, uh, put a soul from the card on the field into the drop zone, and uh, you gain a gauge and draw two cards. This is probably one of the best draw engines, and the, one of the best draw engines I've seen in the game. Because first, usually you have to pay some kind of cost. This is basically just doing what this deck wants to do and remove their soul to plus off of it. But then you get a gauge, and then you draw two more cards. Like this, the draw and this is like draw engines. Uh, and this is something I, you know, uh, Joe's probably mentioned one time that we talked about any card in the uh, buddy fight that lets you draw without being at like six life, five life is amazing. But usually, the be one of the best one was pay two life and draw two. That is divine dragon creation. But this one, you don't neg yourself one way or the other because you're going to most likely plus off whatever you just remove from the soul because you put it there yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you get to you gain, so you're plus in four. You'd plus five if it was uh, Ibuki or the Red Lady because you'd get another effect that would have benefited you. But this is plus three just in itself because you gain a life and you draw it. Or is it gain a gauge? Gain a gauge. I'm sorry. You gain a gauge and you draw two. So this card just is the best, one of the best draw engines I've seen. And with that being said, guys, this has been the Mamba's Oni Assassination Ibuki deck. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave any comments if you have any questions. And thank you.